Do you know regression analysis is one of the most powerful statistical analysis as it can help you forecast future opportunities and risks. So today we are going to learn about regression analysis. Before starting, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please do it now so that you don't miss useful content like this. Let's first start with what is regression. When you conduct a study, you may come across a lot of variables and you want to know the relationship between those variables. Regression helps you to analyze relationship between those variables. So what is a variable? In any research, you have participant or subject that could be an animal, a plant, person, soil, water, etc. Variable is an item that describes attribute or character of those participants. For example, for this animal, variable could be weight, height, size, etc. For this plant, variable could be leaf size, leaf length, plant length, etc. Variable can be of different types, such as categorical, where subjects are placed into different groups, or continuous, such as weight or height, where variable could have any value. After you complete your research, you need to analyze your data, and for data analysis, you need to group your variable into two sides. On one side, there will be independent variable, and on the other side, there will be dependent variable. Independent variable can be called predictor and dependent variable can be called an outcome or response. Regression analysis helps to find out the relationship between dependent variable and independent variable. There are many applications of regression analysis. You just need to know how to use it. For example, forecast weather events. If you want to predict the future rainfall pattern based on temperature and humidity, you can use regression. It helps to inform people about weather dangers, flooding, crop production, irrigation, etc. Another example is you can forecast revenue based on advertisement of products done by the company. It helps to make judgments on how many ads should be run at one time. Regression also helps you find out if your childhood or early life events affect your performance when you are adult or old. Similarly. You can also predict future salary based on your GPA at school or college. If you look at this graph, which shows the relationship between GPA and salary, you can see some interesting patterns here. You can see three groups here. One group with around 1.5 to 2 GPA. One group with around 3 GPA. And one group with almost 4 GPA. You can also see salary for this group on the y-axis. It shows the group with the highest GPA of 4 has the highest income and group with the lowest GPA in school has the lowest income. You can also draw the line as shown here and predict earnings based on specific GPA. The line you just drew is called the regression line. This regression line helps to predict the relationship between GPA and salary. In this case, GPA is an independent variable and salary is the dependent variable. So, regression line shows the relationship between independent and dependent variable. Let's look at this graph closely. Here, we can predict that someone with GPA of 2.5 would earn around $74,454 and someone with GPA of 3.5 would earn $109,626. While predicting, you have to remember that this is just an estimation. Sometimes, the prediction could be different from the estimation. However, to increase the reliability of regression model, you can add many independent variables. For example, in this graph, the model will have formula like this, where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Here, in this graph, x is GPA and y is salary. That means you only have one independent variable, x, that is GPA. But we can extend this model and make a formula like this. In this formula, you have two independent variables, x1, which could be GPA, and x2, which could be gender. And in the same way, you can add other independent variables such as location, age, family background, and others, making it x3, x4, x5, and so on. This is called multiple regression, where there are multiple factors. 
adding multiple factors in your model is very important as it helps you to adjust for variables such as confounders. For example, let's look at this previous graph. Now we think that not only GPA but also gender could affect the salary. That means gender affects this result. On closer look, the graph would actually look like this where red dots are male and blue dots are female. We are thinking that male gender earns more than female gender in this particular case. You could also make one line for male and another line for female. This shows that regression analysis is very powerful where you can add multiple variables and prediction become more reliable and accurate. That's it for today guys. Please do not forget to share our video and subscribe to our channel. We will see you again in next video. Until then, watch we inspire and keep inspiring.